My name is Shanita. 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 Yeah. Uh, put some respect on my name. Said I'm a real queen. Real queen. Real queen. Real queen. Real queen. Uh, the beautiful one. Beautiful. Hey, beautiful people. My name is Shanita White all the way from Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, and welcome to Shanita White Tarot. Now, this uh, tarot reading is about light workers, light beings, healers, good witches, and chosen ones, public safety alert. It's a public safety alert. I haven't seen you guys in a while. However, I've been busy, but I am back sticking my head in just to give you guys a fair warning about what's going on. Okay, I pulled some cards, I cleansed them. And all of that because I know y'all want to get the tea and the uh and this truth juice. So I got a bonus for you, but I pulled some some uh cards that the Lord has hit. He gave me some downloads and some information. So I pu I pulled those cards, and I also pulled some cards from my What's Really Happening deck, and I also pulled some cards from my First Amendment deck. But I also have a bonus because there's not very many celebrities that I really that are really good. You know, uh, but there are a few that I really do like because they are really authentic and true to themselves. And they, they actually help humanity. So, um, the first card that I pulled is, um, uh, the enemies are performing rituals to block off your six senses and connection to the spirit realm. Okay. Um, and I'm talking to the light workers, light beings, healers, good witches, chosen and chosen ones okay they are performing rituals to block off your sixth senses in connection to the spirit realm that's what they're doing okay um the second card is the enemies have actual light being patrol workers do you guys know that they actually have light being control wor patrol workers they have badges with blue ray light which can Scan out homes, units, and complexes. This was invented by the KKK. Okay? It was invented by the KKK. And believe it or not, a lot of people that was in my apartment complex are my, really darker than me. Okay? Black people. And they're affiliated with the KKK. I'm telling y'all, <laughs> shit getting real. Okay? The, uh, the other card, the enemies have flashlights that has radars that scans out light beams while driving in and out of neighborhoods and apartment complexes that indicates light worker or Lord's helper. They have these scanners. Um, my thing is, uh, for the, the healers, the good witches, the chosen ones, the light beings, the light workers. We all really have to come up with um, a plan to, like I said, we have to make our own scanners and we have to build a community because these evil people, the Satanists, the Antichrist, the atheists, and these KKKs, they are building, they have built communities around us to gang stalk us, and, and to invade our privacy so then they they can know exactly and keep us asleep so we don't even know about certain things in the spiritual realm to where we won't even know to access it. But they have, slavery is still real, okay? It's a real thing, as above, so below. If they can make you their slave in the spirit world and you don't even know that you're a damn slave because you're still asleep, you're going to be a slave down here and don't even know it. They want to control you. They want your energy. And they want everything that you are blessed to have. Your energy is a blessing. Because in this 3D realm, we need this to manifest, really. This positive energy helps us manifest. But if we don't even know we got positive energy, and they, they can siphon it, and they can steal it, they manifest from it and still do dirt. They are cursed. That's why they, they, they vibrate on a low vibration. I'm not saying that everybody who vibrates low is cursed. No. I'm saying like racist and people like that. But that's a bloodline. That's a curse. 
To have hate in your heart for somebody just because of their race, that's a curse. You're cursed and you're unhealed. And you don't want to heal. A lot of people are, are the, they're very complacent in their hurt. And then they want to hurt others. That's how they get off. Okay? By hurting others. And blaming others for, for what happened to them instead of healing. Okay? But you're walking in a curse and it's a very low vibration because demons can really access that vessel when you're unhealed. And they can have you doing dumb shit because you don't care. You don't care. You're unhealed. You're hurt. Hurt people hurt people. Okay, let me keep it moving. Bugs and trackers are used to trace your vehicle so that your enemies can know where you and your vehicle is located at all times and where you can be found. They do me like this all the time. But my Father in Heaven deactivates those bugs whenever I ask Him to. The enemies, they, they try to keep track of me and I allow them to keep track of me. Whenever I feel like I, I don't care, but then when I care, when it's something I really need done, they can't track me. My Father in Heaven is in control of, of where I go and how I go and how I move. Not my enemies. But they will do that. They will put trackers on your vehicles and all of that. Okay? I don't consider myself a victim. I consider myself, you know, a, a teacher and a student. You know, I'm, I still learn, but I still teach. But they think they know, a lot of people think they know more about me because they see these damn YouTube videos. But if you think you know me, you're, you're mistaken. You're, you're sadly mistaken because I'm forever evolving. One day you might see this video and I done, I done got a thousand steps ahead within the next video and I'm a whole new being. Okay, I've evolved on a whole nother level. So, I mean, a lot of people think they can watch these YouTube videos and approach me like they know me. Motherfucker, you don't know me. Because I don't even know the next move I'm going to make. Why you trying to study me? You're you, you already lost when you try to study me. Because I move when the Lord say move, I move just like that. When he move, I move just like that. And God what works in mysterious ways. Okay, so here's the next card. Many evil and demonic tarot readers are responsible for stalking light beings, YouTube, YouTube channels, and their followers. They are trying to deplete your fame, fortune, and acquire it within themselves. You are the original, and because of their jealous actions, they have cursed their entire bloodline. You guys don't know how many attacks that I get sent my way on a daily basis around the clock. Okay? But it's no big deal to me because my Father in Heaven protects me. However, a lot of these evil YouTube readers, tarot readers, demonic readers, they don't like me exposing them and I don't give a fuck. Okay? And they try to attack me behind the scenes and they don't think I know who the fuck they are, but I know exactly who the fuck you are, but bitch, you don't know who I am. Because if you knew who I was, you wouldn't fuck with me. You've cursed your whole bloodline by fucking with me and other divine feminines and, our, and, our, and trying to control and steal our abundance and our riches and our beauty and our fame. You can't. It's protected. Let me keep it moving. Every single rental space throughout the U.S. and internationally had spell work done to open portals to suck in the tenant's light and vitality, especially if it's children and adults of light. Portals and spells for light beam traps. Oh, you thought it was just the um, VOG housing? Section 8910? Because that's what, a lot of that is, I've read on a lot of that, but it's everyone. Okay? And they will get karma for that. These are light beam traps. They try to set them up all the time, and it doesn't work because my father in heaven deactivates it. Come comes along, and he sees what's going on, and he doesn't. And they don't understand how it's happening. Well, the most high is how it's happening. So you can stalk me, and you can try to figure out why, why, why is she not dead? Why is it not? It won't affect me. I'm a divine feminine. This is, I'm, I'm living in my purpose. I'm, right now, I'm walking in my purpose. And just like the Lord split the Red Sea, 
for Moses, he, he has split this, those spiritual red seas for me and all the other divine feminists that you try to hurt, kill, and steal from. You can't. It's not allowed. The VOG and enemies are installing new chips inside of dogs, ears, and noses. Pay attention to this, y'all. These chips were utilized to program them to sniff and detect light beings and workers in and around your homes and apartment complexes. What did they do in, back in the day of slavery? What did we gonna send the hounds after them? Yeah, hunt them down. This is modern day slavery. It's not even about race. It's to the point to where it's about light versus dark. Good versus evil. Light beings, the healers. I'm talking about they have dogs, ears and noses chipped to sniff us out. So they can attack us and identify us like slaves. Like back in slavery when they was looking for the, for the slave that ran got, got away. That shit's still happening right now, today. Currently, when you go around, you see all these people walking their damn dogs. And you see that, I mean, it's almost like robotic. It's almost like the clockwork. They're not walking them for the dog. They're walking them to sniff your asses out. Our asses out, okay? Creating or trying to create incisions inside of your energy field to cause energy leakage, which leads to fatigue and laziness. First of all, they're jealous of your energy because they don't have it. They don't have that. They don't have that energy that you have. The energy that we got, oh man, I'm telling you. If you go walk a mile, a, a, day, a, a mile in my shoes, if you can even put my motherfucking shoes on, you'll be trying to steal my energy too. Because that's how good I feel every day. It is. I feel really good every day. Whether I'm being attacked or not. Be, me being, when a regular person who's not divine gets attacked, it could kill them. What, what, what they send my way, it could kill them. I've seen people die. But they still continue to, to do this. And now it's getting, it's trickling down to the human selves now, everyone. So don't worry about it. Because now, the spiritually, they're being defeated, but humanly, they finna start dropping like flies. Okay. Uh, the next one is isolation spells uh, where no matter how hard one tries to find companionship, it fails with betrayal. You know, when a person is like a karmic or unhealed, and you know, these karmic females think that if they keep you away from a partner, that you will fail. But as long as you have the most high in your life, you will always win when you do what's right, what's right. Okay? The most high. So you don't, that's your companion. People don't understand you are your companion. Light beings, it's not someone outside of yourself when they say, well, God put together, let no man tear apart. It's you. It's your God self, your higher self, and your human self. God put you three together, which equals the Trinity. So let no man tear you apart. Okay? You don't need no man outside of yourself. You never have. The only man you need is the most high. Okay? And when a man is good enough or a woman is good enough and worthy enough to be brought into your life to love you like you deserve to be loved, he will move heaven and earth to make sure that you connect to who you're supposed to connect to. No matter how hard the devil tries to attack you and keep you from finding whatever is coming to you. When, it, when it's meant for you, it's going to happen for you. So let's not dwell on that. Because as long as you have the most high in your life, that's all the man you need. Golden apple lemon spells where they can take your promotions. You don't understand, there's many people that I've referred to certain jobs and I've helped them. And these motherfuckers have sent spells towards me to take my promotions. They don't think I know it. They smile in my face, Shanita. <laughs> and I, I, I just smile back. Because it's sad that you've cursed yourself. You know, when you go around treating people bad and cursing people who's blessed you, 
You curse yourself. It makes no sense. It shows how ignorant you are. I don't care if you are. I don't hate nobody. If you're a Satanist, that's your damn business. But do not throw that shit my way. Okay? I don't, I'm not a Satanist. I love the Lord. I'm team Jesus over here. Okay? No matter what, you can't, I can you cannot pay me enough. I don't want your money. And if I don't want your money, I don't damn sure don't want you. Okay? I'm not a gold digging bitch. I'm not a, a gold digging slut hoe tramp. I make my own money. I'm an independent woman. I don't need none of that shit. Okay? So you cannot bribe me to sell my motherfucking body or soul or none of that. I make my own money. Okay? Thank you, but no thank you. Some evil tarot readers have companies who made tarot cards embedded each card with shadows that would take other soul and swap it. They have also cursed their bloodline. You don't do that. When the, when the Lord has blessed you with a gift, you don't abuse that. You don't take advantage of people that don't know. Your job is to help them. You trying to soul swap and steal people's destinies, you know damn well what the fuck you doing. But see, y'all go around attacking people. Y'all don't even know these people. And when the Lord hand your ass to you, you think that somebody did you wrong. Stop it. Conjured up portals of immo immobility hexes um, through work accidents, tripping over, falling, cardiac valve hexes with high blood pressure hexes, no alliance or friendship hexes. The only friend that you need is the most high. They throwing all these hexes towards you, not realizing that when they hurt you, they hurt themselves because we are all connected. All it takes is one reversal to lay your ass out. All that shit you done did to one person, all they got to do is wake up and sit. You might have been attacking them for 20 or 30 years. They, they wake up and finally realize how to send that shit back. All that shit that you've accumulated over your whole lifetime thinking you got away with it. One reversal is going to rain, rain like cats and dogs on your motherfucking head because you're an idiot. Okay. Um, I pulled some from the What's Really Happening deck as well. Where, where are we at? Okay. Um, copycats. There's always going to be a copycat. There's always going to be, you know what, there's a thin line between it, envy and admiration. It really is. There's a lot of, um, there's different, you know, readers that I admire. And, you know, I, I don't, why be jealous of someone? I don't understand that. I never have, you know. Why? Why? When, my thing is, two plus two can make four. If you, you good at what you do, and they good at what they do, we can collab and be, we better. I don't, I've never understood why people were jealous of, of people. I never got it. I never got it. However, uh, here's the other one. Government uh, housing agendas. Okay. Um, enemies are sending someone to date you and secretly attack you. Y'all know that. I've told y'all that in the, in the last reading. Please share these. Uh, you ain't even got to like or subscribe. Just share these, these videos so people who don't know would know, okay? Um, the VLG is paying foreign enemies to attack you from foreign countries. They are. They're paying foreign enemies, promising them all kind of uh, uh, riches and stuff, even for next lifetimes. Um, I'm running out of time, so I'm going to give you this. Protect your energy. Your enemies have Cat eyes with the the abilities to see from miles away and scan others of their energy and swap and steal it. So protect your energy. They are breeding like rabbits because they know once their bloodline is done for, and so are they and so are they in terms of legacy and power. Y'all don't understand what the what the most high is doing right now, but I do. Y'all see all these celebrities trying to fuck like rabbits and have all these kids. Okay. Having all these kids because they've cursed themselves. And they don't realize that 
It doesn't matter how many kids they have. They're saving their fluids and their blood and their sperm and all sorts of banks so they can come back and reincarnate and all of this. This life, the buck stops here. I mean, I hate to say it like that, but it's the truth. Um, I got one more uh, bonus. And this bonus is for uh, the R&B singer Kellis. Um, okay. Kellis, I like you. You're, you're very beautiful. You're very talented, creative. I like that. Um, and uh, you know what? When you spoke up, a lot of motherfuckers got mad, but you was telling the truth. And I commend you because don't you ever let somebody try to steal your shit and not say nothing. Because that's what they would try to do. Um, uh, after you called that motherfucker out for stealing your shit, they sent 1,628 shadow entities towards you to undo your success, soak in your music, and leave you unwanted, underrated, and not accepted by the population. And you are not the first artist that she has done this to. So I'm just giving you a heads up. You know, look out. I mean, because, I mean, I have some more readings I'm going to do. And you're going to be so surprised about what happened. Okay? And I got to go. But you know what? I love you. I love you. I love you. Mwah. And peace.